Okay. Take two. Hi right, guys, welcome to our 16 BHS, uh, I guess kind of like camper review that we just finished our first trip, three day trip, only an hour away from our house, uh, beautiful Lake Greenwood, South Carolina. We probably would pick a different site next time. We did go for a pull through site, being it was our first time with full hookups. Worked out great, but it wasn't Lakeside. The guys across the street were Lakeside, they backed in. They had a better, better water experience maybe than us traveling uh, kayaks across gravel with no shoes on. So we'll start off, I guess, here's our TV mount. Uh, we put a 23 inch TV up there, a Wi-Fi TV. We didn't bring a cable wire, so I didn't test out the antenna. We were able to hotspot um, one of our cell phones to there for about 20 gigs of high speed internet. And then we kind of went down to like a 600 speed so we could watch the only bits and pieces of stuff. There's uh, plenty of over the queen storage bed, the queen bed. Got a lot of nice storage here. Uh, we didn't really use this much during the trip. We do keep a first aid kit up here and that's gonna stay in the camper all the time. Uh, our easy guard corners, which the 16 BHF owners realize this is a necessity in this trailer. I think I bought my head in that three or four times in one day. Uh, we just kind of put, I guess like a change of clothes up here maybe. We didn't really put much up here while we, while we, while we stayed here. Uh, didn't, didn't find that we needed it. Uh, the queen size bed, I found to be very comfortable. Uh, Jen would like to get a, a mattress topper for it, which I'm not opposed to. I think it's a good idea, but it is off the shelf more than enough comfort for me. Um, underneath there is a ton of storage. I, I guess I could lift this up quick, huh? So we got a couple of totes. That's some clothes, some food that we brought. Um, and that was enough for us for the three days, and that's including TV and life jackets. Uh, there is some bikes in the back of the car, but you know, this is more than enough space we found so far for just this short trip. Uh, the dinette that was included, we felt was kind of small. Um, maybe two adults could fit comfortably, but definitely not two adults and one teenager or two adults and two teenagers. So uh, Jen decided we should turn it to a, a sofa. Um, which I think is a great idea. It kind of seems to open the room a little bit more and it was nice that we could sit and watch some TV on that sofa while eating a meal uh, just as you would at your house or we ate outside. We didn't really think that we needed that table just yet and you could fit three people sitting down there if you wanted to eating a lot more comfortable than two people sitting face to face with that small dinette. It's not really that big at all. Uh, again, some overhead storage. We're going to want to add some hydraulics to this because they do just kind of drop down. We, um, we traveled with this empty also. There was nothing in here uh, for our trip. While we stayed here, that was where our plates, bowls, cups, silverware set, and canned items and box of cereal and some you know easy Mac or something might have went up there. Uh, but again, with this a lot of storage below, we don't need to travel with that full, avoiding any potential damage or spills or anything like that. Keep it empty while we're traveling. Um, we have a, speakers connected to the stereo here. They do have a nice blue glow to them. You just got to turn on this warning light switch here. And that on and off warning lights that controls the speakers on the inside, the speakers on the outside, and the blue LED under the awning which we did have a problem with, but we'll get to that in another video maybe. Uh, one fault that we noticed, but was remedied pretty easily by looking online, was that the Bluetooth speaker, you can hear Jen- Kinda turn that off. You can hear, you can hear Jen turn it on and off the air conditioner. Um, it's hot here. When we arrived, it was 90 degrees and it felt like 99 degrees. And we're setting up and taking out cook stations and portable smokers and chairs and bikes off the back of the truck. And however long it took us, I didn't document, but we put that AC on pretty much right away, and it works. It definitely cooled. It was like we walked in from being outside, and it was like walking into an icebox. But as you just heard, it is loud. It is a very loud unit. Some people like that. It, I didn't hear any kids screaming at 6 o'clock in the morning, so I like that being loud. It avoided whatever was going on outside. I didn't hear what was going on outside. I just had a nice hum to put me to rest all day. Again, with this Bluetooth uh, speaker, 
We didn't hook up any cable to it yet, so I don't know how that functions. We did hook up Bluetooth uh, through the phones, listen to some music, and the next day when we went to hook back up, it didn't connect. A uh, quick Google search by Jen found a remedy to pull the fuse out. The fuse panel on this is very simple. Push button, pops right down, clearly marked, no guessing, and to make it even easier, the fuse for the radio is uh, isolated. They got four fuses, it skips, radio fuse, and another three fuses, so it's real, real simple to do. One of the most important things that we that we liked about this, uh, we're going to get to that right now. Probably the two most important things that we liked about this. Um, with two teenage boys who are always on their phone or playing with their Switch or watching YouTube on their phone or something like that, uh, they have their own personal dual USB outlets in, the, in their private bunks. Um, that you would think that would kind of seem like a standard thing, that that should just come like automatically uh, to, with today's times and everybody's always plugged in and all that stuff. Uh, but a lot of units didn't have that. They didn't have that um, luxury that you would say. And again, it should be a standard style thing. No one would really want to have an outlet up there, but this one has a two USBs and a personal LED light. Uh, I mean, my son spent an hour or two down here after we swam uh, just doing what he does, playing his Switch, uh, looking at a YouTube video, texting his friends, and there was no concern for any type of power issue with that. No looking for a plug, no looking for an uh, outlet to, to borrow. Right here, no problem, no reason to bring a, a, a surge protector for inside here so everybody can power up and stuff. Like when you go to a hotel sometimes, I had to bring in a surge protector. There are lots of outlets. To have everybody plug it in. There's one under the sink. Uh, good sized bathroom. Not going to complain about that at all. Uh, the toilet seemed to work really good for the three three days that we were here. My wife did add a toilet bowl holder, a toilet paper holder, which is a necessity because there's no there's no hooks or toilet pole uh, toilet roll holders or anything. It's just a bare wall. So we got to figure out something to do. Like we put up some hooks here for some towels, because uh, otherwise, if you're looking to hang or anything or store anything in here, you're going to just be out of luck. There's nothing. It's just a bare wall. Um, there is an included vent with an exhaust fan, all right? Uh, we may want to increase that exhaust fan by another half an inch if we can down the road, or it might not even be that important. We didn't use it this whole trip because we were running the air conditioner and uh, didn't have a problem with any, any fumes that we need to exhaust. You do have a, what I guess is considered a full-size shower. Uh, there is a couple of shelves here. Or well, one shelf there, you know, for your shampoo or something like that. There's a small bowl over here. Um, kind of cool. The shower come out vertically for you to take a shower. And if you want to brush your teeth or just do a quick hand wash or something, it also mounts horizontally, which which is really nice. Um, I'd rather see something like that. I don't need a full-size sink if I'm camping. Um, there's no reason to. I'd rather see the space be cut back on that and add to something like this nice big huge refrigerator that uh, we're going to talk about next. Um, no problems with the fridge. Some people saying they're having problems. We have not had any of them yet. Uh, the big difference that we noticed between a 2020 and a 2021 16 BHF was the included S. BHS. I'm sorry, was the included juice pack uh, that gives you a solar panel on the roof and then another what they call a marine battery, a 27 series battery or something like that, so it can take a deep charge, hold deep charge. I don't know all about that stuff. I didn't read up about it yet. What I do know is this refrigerator works really well. Uh, we went to our storage facility, plugged in the, the main power source, got this refrigerator running cold, backed up the trailer, hooked it up, which took a little bit longer. We got to learn a little more about that. Uh, this time we put it on jacks. That's going to help, I think. Um, but the whole point of the story is that we were able to go hook this up, drive to the local Walmart, pick up some ice cream, some adult beverages, some milk, uh, a couple of things we froze, some steak, some corn, some butter, and some ground beef. So we didn't have to worry about that. But uh, by the time we pulled into the, we got to the store and Jen did her shopping, uh, this thing was ice cold. And it was ice cold the whole time we drove down here. Um, it just, we put in there some ice pops, uh, some, some ice cream, uh, what do you call them? Cone? Cone things? What drumsticks. <laughs> drumsticks, some ice cream drumsticks. <laughs> so a little bit of everything. Uh, Italian ices, ice pops, and then uh, drumsticks. 
everything upon arrival was solid. Better than we bought from the store. Um, that's a really nice feature. I've had problems before camping when that fridge just didn't get cold enough or wouldn't run during the drive. This was running the whole time, again, off that solar power. Didn't, didn't cost us anything. Didn't do any kind of hook up to the truck or the trailer. Just a cold fridge from the minute you plug it in to the, to you, to we unplug it when we go home. There's going to be stuff in there when we pull into our storage facility. I mean, it just, it just keeps you cold. It really works well. Um, dual burner stove, another cool blue LED feature. Um, Jen cooked on it. How did it cook, Jen? Great. It cooked great. Mm -hmm. uh, the glass opens up just nice, so it gives you a little more counter space. So if you're chopping some potatoes or some carrots, and then you want to, you know, do your thing on the stove, you do have the ability to have that added 14, 12 inches maybe before you do your cook. Another thing that was super important to me, uh, might not be important to others, was a vent fan. I really did like the vent fan. There it goes on right now. Uh, it it did it did do its job. I know when Jen was cooking, and I was sitting outside by the outdoor fridge. Um, I could it clicked on and I could feel the feel the fan a little bit, but more I could smell it, so I knew it was doing what it was supposed to do. Um, on that outside vent, though, on the outside of the trailer, there's a cap with like a little protector from rain and all that, and underneath there, you got to open and close it. So if you're using it, you want to keep it opened. If you have your unit in storage, make sure you close it. You don't want bugs, ants, dust, whatever the heck goes on in the elements to get out there. Um, that was something that we didn't know, but it was a head that they had recommended. A nice deep sink. You really can't beat the deepness of the sink here. Uh, almost a whole hand can fit in there, meaning I can wash down below. It's again, nice. Uh, it's a nice sink, and it's deep, but that does cut back some storage space. But not really. You have a little bit of storage over here. People cut these out um, for more storage. I haven't found that need just yet. I found we had enough storage in this unit itself. And overhead storage, just some real basic small stuff. Matches, ant traps. Keep keep ant traps when you're storing your unit. Want to have ant traps? We had it storage. Cab was brand new. Never been used. I put an ant trap down. It was full. Full of dead ants. So definitely... Definitely ant trap, roach bait, Irish spring soap, all those things that people tell you to do it uh, within, within our, from a brand new trailer to being in storage, that ant trap worked. And I, who would want to walk into the trailer with a bunch of ants? Just get an ant trap, they're cheap, $3. Uh, the same thing with that cushion thing. This, you're going to want that. All Typical right. open up blinds. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, a lot of lighting. Uh, indoor outdoor speakers again a problem with the awning which we'll get into another time I uh, didn't check out any of the included HDMI coax cable jacks something like that this is more of an outdoor uh, we do a lot of outdoor cooking a lot of kayaking a uh, good amount of swimming some bike riding uh, not really an indoor TV trip we didn't have any rain but one day and we were able to do something like that uh, that TV did work really well hotspot to the wife's phone the kid was in here one night we were outside uh, he watched Gravity Falls. Very fitting. Nice outdoor show. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Totally hitched. Catch you guys next time. Enjoy. <laughs>